Suspiciously happy everybody. for the situation that we're in. Uh, no, this is the recap stuff. <laughs> oh, good. All right. So, we're all good to go. The Honor Bound continued to explore the quiet laboratory, coming across a strange room with glass orbs and metal magical items. Sorry. Uh,. Having a conversation with the ghost of Rapticast and making their way past a room filled with water and strange seaweed creatures. After the seaweed creatures nearly drowned Marsica, the group eventually found themselves in front of a massive door. Passing through it, they found two more just like it and eventually found themselves standing in an elastic membrane of sorts. Pressing forward into this membrane, they realized they were in a bubble that was submerged within a lake of boiling water. At the other end of this bubble was a very large chest, and in front of it a large metal cube. As they proceeded forward, the party noticed skeletons on the floor of this membrane, and the metal cube began to transform into what looked like a very tall metal man poised to defend the chest with a large warhammer and shield on its person. So what are you guys doing? I draw my trusty frying pan. We don't want to try to talk to it? <laughs> we don't want to try and talk to this thing first? Yeah, Mr. Bard. Yeah, maybe uh, we should. I thought it was, that was your idea. Yeah, I know, I know, but I'm just not sure how to proceed with that. Um, I just walk up and just hail friend. Yeah, sing him a song. <laughs> <laughs> so you, how far up are you moving to address this thing? Uh, there. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> hey, friend. Hail friend, friend to this yes. large metal man. Yeah. What languages do you speak? Um... Not old tongue. No. <laughs> or rather, what language are you speaking at it? Oh. Uh, uh, sorry, I did not mean to click that. <laughs> um, I'm going to speak Dwarvish at it. There is no change in its demeanor. It seems to almost tense up as you get a little bit closer. Can... I repeat what it said in old what what he said in old tongue. Sure. Just so say hail friend in old tongue. Hail fan, hail, hail friend in old tongue. Do you move forward at all or do you stay where you are? Nope, I'm staying right the fuck where I am. <laughs> it cocks a head of recognition, but it doesn't say anything in response. I'm gonna move back. I I will continue to say in old tongue what is your purpose here? again another head of recognition and it seems to maneuver in such a way so that it shows that it is obviously guarding uh I don't think 
or we haven't said anything interesting enough for it. What was the name of the lady? I can't remember, and I can't find my notes right Raptacast. now. Raptacast. Raptacast, thank you. Uh, I'll say... Uh, Raptacast has sent us here. This need not be a fight. Obviously an old tongue. Okay. Again, there's no response. It's standing there, guarding. Well, guys, I, I don't think we have another choice in this one if we want what's in the chest. There's not any phrase we know. Alt that four. <laughs> <laughs> But say it in the old tongue. <laughs> Divide by zero. <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> Would you have this any other way, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> no. um, so I'm it's not like happens. physically coming for. It's like it's in a defensive stance. It's not. It's currently in a defensive stance at the moment. Yes. Okay. Um, so, I have two options for us. Um, option A is what I told you guys in the, in the chat, where we basically just bomb rush the fuck out of this thing, and, uh, Flint and Siga summon animals, and we just pray that works. Um, or option B, we also do that, but I go sneaky <laughs> sneaky and try and get what the fuck is in the chest. And then we just last long enough until I can get what's in the chest and then get the fuck out. Sneaky? That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky? We well, could give either way, it a hug. Got, we, we've got to get him away from the chest and keep him distracted long enough for me to go get it. Okay. <gasps> Flint could sing him a song. Um, Are we going with option B? <laughs> I don't think talking to this guy is going to work. Is, do I need to go sneaky sneaky I mean, or buff up and hit somebody? Because this is a very important distinction for me because this is the difference between blur and invisibility. <laughs> if we go and try if... to kill him, then we won't have a surprise attack if he happens to find out you're sneaking. Although, if you sneak and everything is good, then we'll be okay. Aaron, does attempting to lockpick something doesn't break invisibility because it's not a spell or an attack, correct? That would be my ruling on it, from what I Aaron. understand. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Alright, cool. Then, uh... Wait, real quick. Um, I rolled a perception check of 20. With this membrane that we're standing on, are we, like, sinking a little bit with our weight there? Like, is it giving, like, a sponge, or is it, like, more like a hard surface? Like, if we're walking across this, even if someone's invisible, are you going to be able to see the indent on the ground? Maybe if your passive perception was incredibly high. It would be very hard to see. It's a very taut membrane, but with all of you in this place, there is a little bit of give. I have a okay, 15 passive right perception. Um, well, we, we don't... You're not sure because he's not invisible and moving away from the group yet. You can see... You can't really see the individual people, but you know in your area, since you're all grouped in this spot, you see a little bit of a depression. Okay. Alright, well, you guys gotta get him away from the chest. Yeah. If that's what we're doing. If Michael, you guys if... you do that, then I'll do my best to open the chest. Yeah. Michael, if you use your flute or something like that, your loot... And play, mm -hmm. I can back you up with my flute. Oh my god. So, Calvio is going to move to the back of the group in anticipation for our plan. So I'm going to go to, like, here so people are in front of me. Yeah, we'll just kind of, like, shuffle around. And so make sure he's the plan. buried All right. in the back. Position yourselves how you wish. I can't move my character, is that because I wasn't the last one? Oh, yeah, Hold because on. someone yeah, else had go, to... Go ahead and oh. drag your person out. What's the what are we doing with Fang? He's got claws. Uh Fang? I mean I'm assuming his claws aren't out unless he wants them to be out. Like it's like yeah. a dog, like they're there. 
But unless they're not like, like her, gonna then, you scratch know. you or anything unless he's clinging on for dear life, which and right now he's everyone not. got the thing about piercing damage being bad for bubble, right? Yes. And also for the membrane. That That's the bubble. Ah. Oh! Wow, Michael. Alright, my bad. So I shouldn't shooty shoot in the bubble? No. I'm not saying no, <laughs> I'm just maybe. saying be very careful about where you shooty shoot, because if you miss, it could we be a could problem. Be so but that's, that's, I that's don't a gamble. Miss. That's a gamble Marsica needs to make if she, if she wants to try and shoot in here. If if she misses, it could prove to be an issue. She doesn't miss. Okay. Except for when Patrick rolls for her. <laughs> Patrick! I, just I told you, you have to roll above a five and you'll be good. <laughs> it's hard, um, right? <laughs> so, if, if, Marsica, if we want Marsica to shoot, we should buff her in some way that helps with that. So it makes it impossible for her to fuck up. Bless? We gonna, is this like a plan B in case he decides to attack type I of mean, thing? I mean, you guys are going to have to attack it to get it to move away. That, that's, no, fair that's where we're at. So okay. it, that's where we're at with this. Is uh, The safe way is for you to use swords and be careful. Um, or if you have something with blunt damage, that would be the most ideal. Tombstone. Um, I've only got swords and I've got my okay. bow. So we should probably w wait for summon animals to summon their animals and then use that as the main front because that means we're not taking damage and we're pulling it into that and then that's all blunt damage that like that won't hurt the the bubble unless something goes super awry like a turtle correct uh and if we can bring him away enough so i can get in there because where he is right now there's no way absolutely no way Right. Wow, he's big. So what are we doing, guys? Um, I guess we're doing a sneaky sneaky. How do we lure oh, plan, him? Plan number dos, distract and sneak. Uh, what if Courtney and I summoned our apes, like, over here? And, like, tried to get them to come to that side a little bit? The further away he is, the better. That's what I was. If, if we're trying to keep him away from the wall of the bubble, towards the center, back towards us, that could, yeah. He he currently has a warhammer. Woo blunt. We just need to get him away. We don't need to beat him. We just need to get him away. Uh, I, uh, I don't I really can... have anything. We I don't can... have to win. We just can't lose. That's I where can I'm keep at. people from getting hit. I can hit shoot him. With him. A He'll come forward if I shoot him. Oh, he's, he's moving forward. We can poke standing a hole. Here. It is beginning to get a little bit more aggressive, and it's taking a step towards you. Uh, All right. Is well, this is this thing. like a round bubble or is it like flat ground with like dome? <sighs> round, basically, but don't worry about that as, um, for movement purposes. Okay. Okay. For map and movement purposes, it's flat. But is it is it like a fairly tall bubble? Yeah, yeah. it's it's relatively okay. tall. Okay. All right. So. If we're doing this, then we need to summon creatures now, before combat starts, and we have to deal with that shit. Okay. Let's do it. Alright. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it to it. 60 feet. Alright. We and want it to come away, so don't... Flint. Yep. Yeah, just remember, we want it to come away from the chest more, so don't put it right on top of it where he stays there to fight. Right. We want him away. Yeah, so like more over here. Anywhere, as far so, away from the chest as possible is are good. Are you guys currently beginning to cast? Um. Yes. <laughs> we'll go ahead and head into initiative. Okay. Okay. 
Hey, that's pretty good. Go me. Not bad. Got a boop. Are we rolling initiative? Yes. Oh. oh. Damn, Shane. I can't do that. Why not? What do you mean Yikes. you can't roll initiative? I can't do that. Why not? No, I'm bad at that. <laughs> oh, you just can't roll is what you're telling He's me. He's just yeah. being dumb. Hey, Patrick. You're going ahead of me. I sure am. I didn't <laughs> roll the worst. Go me. Uh, uh... That means it's a good day. At least for me. Alright, I'm gonna go down the line, and then let me know as I say your name. Marsica. 14. Calvio. 19. Fang. 13. Siga. 19. Zarek here. 4. Flint. 17, er, sorry, 18. Kakira. 7. At least you're not last. <laughs> At least I'm not last. <laughs> you know, there's, there's kind of like a safety bubble having to clear it go last in the turn order, though. This Just in true. case if something <laughs> happens. <laughs> like... You can always fix the action economy that way. Yeah. So, Sega, you're the first on deck. What are you doing? Wait. Wait, Calvio's not first? I'm first. Oh, shit. You his... both got 19, right? What, yeah, his deck has got to be higher than mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. I forgot oh, to ask oh. that. You're good. Calvio's first. What are you doing? Um... Calvio's gonna say, all right, good luck, everyone. <laughs> um, bonus action, Blade Sing. And cast Invisibility. Can you concentrate on spells while Blade Singing? Uh, I should be able to. I just thought about that. I wasn't sure. Yes, because it gives me a bonus to maintain concentration. I get plus four on any con save to maintain concentration on spell. Awesome. Okay, so blade singing, casting invisibility. And where are you heading? Then I get. Hang on, I get ten feet, so I have forty feet of walking speed. Uh, uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. I'm moving to right here. Excellent. Um, are you gonna? So that's action bonus action. Okay, cool beats. Is that the end of your turn? That is my turn. All right, Sega is up. Flint is on deck. Okay. So Sega is going to do summon animals. Or conjure animals. Um, and it's gonna be four. Apes. All right, where are you putting them? So we're gonna put them um, kind of. I guess I can do them kind of diagonally here, like a little wall of them, I suppose. <laughs> Those are some scary looking apes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so can you ping yeah. one at a time? Uh, that I mean that little grouping if in a square, that's totally fine. So like right there, is that good? Sure. Cool. That'll work. Uh, are you gonna um, move it all? Actually, sorry, hold on. Actually, I want to I want them down a little bit further so that one more box um, down. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like in the middle, a little bit further away. That's okay. Yeah. Right there. Thank you. Mhm. Mm no problem. Just far enough away. All right. Are you moving at all? Um. I'm gonna take a like a step over, over here. Yeah. All right. Is that the end of your turn? 
Yes. Flint, you're up. What are you doing? I am going to also conjure animals, and I'm going to put two of the apes on this left side, or right here underneath, and then two on this side, kind of going closer towards the wall. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of monkeys, guys. Okay. Uh, so, and remember, Aaron said to pre-roll attacks with apes. So yeah, go ahead so and roll attacks if that's what you. He's gonna say, do. do you want me to have them all on like the same initiative, or are they just gonna take mine for now? They will act on your initiative for sake of ease. Okay. okay. Cool. Okay. Just gotcha. remember to roll that, so we're not waiting yep. for eight apes. Nope. I've already got written out. I'm here. Okay. Sweet. Can you send me the stats for the ape, Courtney? Yes. Thank you. Uh, is Flint moving at all? Um, yeah, I'm going to step over here next to Sega. Give me a second. Sorry, I have my character sheet there. Okay, that moves the map. For my it's brain, can we move. say the left four for Flint and the right four for our Segas? Yeah. Totally fine. All right, it's not letting me move my character. Just let me move the map. What? I, I want to put Flint, like, right over here in between. Why is it... I don't know what's going on. It's just letting me move the map. Go not ahead and drag me... yourself up, out again. I'm very confused. Alright. Oh god. That's a big flip. And then can you ping where you want to be? Oh, I can move. Wow. Cool. Actually, I'm going to step back. And I'm going to be next to Fang. <laughs> be right there. Bye, <laughs> Wolf. All right. Well, I know, I know he'll protect me. I give him food. <laughs> Doing anything with your bonus action? Um, I'm gonna give Marsika Bardic Inspiration. Thank you. Nice. Uh, I forget what does that add again? Uh, I believe do, 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 do. it's a D8 now. Oh, one D8 uh, for any. One second. There. Is it? Is it for any attack? Any roll? I just sent it to the chat. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep. All right. So, uh, is that the end of Flint's turn? Yes. The Steel Guardian, seeing eight apes just show up, is going to rush them. <laughs> And you're going to watch as its bottom jaw unhinges, and you see this massive cloud of green gas come from the mouth of this metal man. Oh, what the? Well, that's not good. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I okay. made. Uh, where is it at here? He's going to move. Right. You cut right out. There. He's going to move right here. And the, uh, so Michael, I need you to roll three saves, constitution saves for your apes, and Sega, I need you to roll two constitution saves for your apes. I've got a 19 and a 21. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Michael! Come on! It's not me. It's the computer. I'm... It's not me, <laughs> Michael. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my dice after this. Can you see? It? Ah, there we go. <laughs> Hold on. There we they go. They do get um. Yeah, they the two apes, don't matter. The apes get plus two, by the way, to constitute. Oh, so it's a five and eight and a twenty-two pool. Yeah. Yeah. If that makes any difference. <laughs> Oh my god, that's horrible. I don't think that matters. It make really changes in things, but <laughs> here we are. Good god. So the apes that failed are going to take 27 points of damage, and the those Woo! that succeeded are going to take um, 13. Out. Oh, that, that knocks some of them out. Yeah. You said out. Oh, two of them are the gone of mine. Okay. 
And you said 13 if they succeeded? 13 if they succeeded. Okay. Big ouch. Big ouch. Uh, uh, uh. Two or mine are almost gone, but not. And then I marked them on the... Three of mine are gone. On this turn, too. Uh, that is the end of his turn right now. So, Marsica, you're up. What are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cast Hunter's Mark on him. Okay. And... Do this. Aim for the eyes. <laughs> aim for the eyes, boo. Aim for the eyes. Aim for the eyes. <laughs> Maybe um, aim for the chest because it's a bigger target. That's yeah. Shield. You've got a shield. <laughs> uh, question. Uh, did we ever refresh spell slots or anything? Just curious. Not while I was gone. For you. No. Because okay. you didn't do a long rest. Okay, that's fine. I was just curious. Uh. Ooh, um. Yeah. I. 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 I you, I'm not Patrick, so I'm gonna roll. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. Just Patrick under the bus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right, all right. So we're gonna. Oh. Oh. Also, have I done oath bow at all within the past? You have not. You have, you have not, not oath bowed. I think this might be a good time to oath bow. This would be a this great, is a wonderful oath. time to yeah. oath bow. If you're so, gonna take a chance and shoot, man, go for it all. She's yep. also turning on oath bow. Let me read about this again so I can remember how to do things. Uh, <laughs> get advantage on the roll, mm -hmm. and they gain no benefit from cover. And other than total cover, and then I also suffer no disadvantage due to long range, and they take an extra three d six. So we've got hunter's mark and oath bow. Got it. Sounds good. Good. Okay. Here we see a wild Michael. Uh, <laughs> his natural habitat. Mark is one d six. I got it. Are you gonna uh, go ahead and roll okay. the hit? Twenty four. Oh, that was without advantage. Hold on, let me see if I can crit. <laughs> no, 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 the first one was well. The second one was a seventeen. So Did this you first add one the was bardic inspiration. That wouldn't make it a crit. Though, that wouldn't would make it? it a crit, would it? No, it would not. No, the no, no, no. Hit. Okay, okay, 24 does hit. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, so I need... Jesus Christ. Alright, I forgot about how this all goes. <laughs> Actions! Okay! Let the dice rolling begin. Yes. So... 1d8 for the bow. Where the heck is my d8? Alright. Um, Kikira is basically on deck after Fang. Okay, and then so one d six for oath bow. I mean for for uh, what you might call it, and then three more for oath bow. Yes, it should yes. be three d six. One d six for hunters, and then three d six for oath bow. One, two, three. Come on, I've got more D6. We're only all hiding. Four. Six. Alright. Oh, man, leave my dice alone. Oh, cool. Cool, Jenna. Okay. Uh, 17, 18, 24, um, 24, uh, plus 7, uh, 31. 31, plus, plus the 5, I never added the 5, so 36, 36 points of nice. piercing damage. For the first attack, I gotta do that again, because I get right, two attacks. Yep, second attack. Okay. Okay, so rolling the attack roll. 
So you lose the first arrow, it finds a chink in its armor, and an arrow is just sticking out of its shoulder right now. I'm gonna bardic inspiration for that! Alright. Okay. Add a D8. <laughs> Woo! Cool! Uh, uh, 19. 19 does not hit. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, oh mother. So. <laughs> so, the arrow, it was high enough, oh. so the arrow just ricochets off, and it goes threatening off into the bubble for a second. But it doesn't have enough power behind it to hit the bubble. Okay, guys. Well, this is fun. <laughs> Okay. Very, very dangerous is, game. Is that the end of Marsica's turn? Yeah. All right. Fang is up. What's Fang doing, Heaven? Uh. Oh wait, 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 wait. It's gonna. Sorry, I forgot. It's going to use one of its legendary actions to slam the ape that's in front of it, and it rolled a natural eighteen. Uh. For a total of 26 to hit the ape, so I'm assuming that hits. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Is this one of Michael's or one of mine? This one's one of yours, the one that's in front of it. Okay. Bye, ape. That's going to be eight points of damage. Oh, maybe not by ape. Okay. It should be gone. Because it only has uh, six hit points left. Right? Because they have 19 Oh, hit hold points. on. Which... Yeah, hold... I, I guess I gotta figure out which one is which. This one. Okay, so... So, one, this two, one three, four. and this yeah. one... We can't see those which one's two. got poison breath. Yeah. So, uh... I'm assuming it's those them. two that are in front. The so then that one would be dead. Okay, the now we can see it. The two that are the ones that got poison breath. Yeah. Okay, okay cool. Disappears into back into wherever you summoned it from. These apes are never going to answer our call again. Now, now <laughs> uh, potentially moving up there. I'm going to look at how much movement he has again. Uh, protecting his food source. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I think. This thing hurts, Heaven. I know. I'm debating it, okay? I'm debating it. I, you know I, what? You do what you want. I'm just throwing I that out think, there. I think what I'm going to do is... Fang's going to just kind of hop in the front of the group, and he's looking mean and scary, and he's here in case the thing gets close. All right. so, How big is Fang? Fang is about 190 pounds. Like how tall? He's, he's a chonky wolf. Uh, he's... I, I mean, you can almost picture him, like, Great Dane height, maybe. So he's probably yes. bigger than me, or as big as me. Yeah! <laughs> like, I, yes. I look him in the yeah. eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I nod. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wolves are big, man. I was always curious about that, but never confirmed, so I just had to double-check this quick. All right, Kakira, what are you doing? Uh, Sacred Flame. All right, sounds good. <laughs> uh, Sacred Flame. It will fail. Yes. Bum bum. What do I roll that? Okay. Should be two d two d eight. Not bad. Uh, are they both one? Do I add anything to it, or is that... How does this work? It's just it? Alright, 14. Nice. Not bad. Nice. Um, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Spiritual Weapon. And we're going to put it here. Okay. Just a tombstone appears in front of him. <laughs> he he smacks one of the apes, and then a tombstone appears where it <laughs> where it was. 
That's pretty great. Amazing. All right, and you're gonna smack him with it? I am going to thwack. Thwack! thwack. Make that thwack roll. All right, thwack roll. Uh, that's not gonna thwack. hit. Come on, thwack roll. Uh, it's a 17. 17 does not hit. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Right. Gotta be a way to disarm this thing. You mean cutting its arm off? It has a shield, right? It does. It, have the a shield, shield is his arm. So like, ah. uh, out, uh, like out of its arm is this warhammer, and out of its arm is the shield. Like it is built into this thing. Oh. Like, like transformer know. style. That's like, why I like yeah. heat metal. When we talked about it, wouldn't work on this thing because it is. The thing. It is the thing. Yeah. Awesome. Is Heat metal is very time? specifically. You could just it make it time. really hot. Which would hurt us more. Yeah. Is that the end of Kakira's turn? Yeah, that's all I can do. All right, Zarek here. You're up. What are you doing, man? All right. Push so, I am going to move. And then I'm going to hit it with an Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast! Eldritch yeah. Blast! Yeah. I can't help but picture Shane, like, with his 20. shield up and the mace on the shield and he's shooting it out of the base. 21 just misses. 21 misses? 21 just misses. I'm gonna oh, use my shoot. other Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Alright. Uh, <laughs> 20. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry to say, guys, I don't think Flint's going to be able to hit this thing. <laughs> I don't think this is a fight we fight I, I, anymore. I'm, like I said, uh, <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, don't die, let's get the fuck out. I'm going to yell at the uh, giant metal thing that its mother was a door handle and everyone used it. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother was a door handle, nice. and everyone used it. God damn it. Is that the end of Zarkir's turn? Yes. Uh, Calvio, because I forgot to ask you to roll a stealth check for me when you hit invisibility, go ahead and roll that stealth check with uh, advantage, because you're invisible. I crit, so we're fine. It's a 30. <laughs> it's a 30. 27. 27. <laughs> Sorry. 27. Wrong stat. Still. Nice. It's Green a, dice is the dice to use today, apparently. Um, okay. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I can get all the way right there. All right. Getting right up to it. All right. Um, can I see this without looking in action? Like, what, what, is, what do I see that's not action-based? Like, without investigating it, basically. So, what you see before you is a large, large metal chest with, it seems to be like a huge footlocker of sorts made of metal. Okay. And there is a, like a lock mechanism in front of it that's holding it closed. Lock mechanism? Oh, yeah. fuck. It's, it's pretty fancy from what you've seen. Like, like key mechanism that it's just complicated or something else? It's like a tumbler system, almost. It's like a, it's oh, like a weird good combination lock. Fucking god! Do uh, would are there any apparent runes that are obvious, obvious enough that I don't have to investigate? Not that, that I can obvious see. enough. There, okay. there seems to be some writing on it, um, and it is on the top of it. Um, you see. Uh, oh, what would it be? Like, written in old tongue on the top of it, it's like a stasis box. A stasis? Do I know what that is? I don't think... Maybe Calvia would know what that is. Uh, but I, I still might have to make a, an action for that. Yeah, it'd, it'd be an action Shit. to try and get it. To see if there's anything... Uh, oh. Fuck, do I open it and... Or just, like, gillo it? Or do I action to find out before I get us all killed? Oh, and Calvio do. 
Calvio yep. would probably be just trying to open this fucking thing so we can get the hell out. Alright. I, I, yeah, yeah, I guess go that's ahead. what I'm gonna do. Alright, go ahead and make me a Thieves Tools check. This is the sleight of hand modifier, right? Yes. If you have expertise in sleight of hand, it's not with the expertise. You have to take specific expertise. I don't think expertise. I have expertise yet. Okay, cool. I'm not that far up in rogue, unfortunately. But my sleight of hand is still plus 10, guys. You can do it. I believe in you. 28. Yeah! Yeah! Are you kidding me? 18 plus 10, bro. Hell yeah. Plus 10, people, yeah! <laughs> and they <laughs> rejoiced. <laughs> Yay. So, since you just went in and yoloed it, as you you kind of listen and you quickly it, it's probably the fastest you've ever worked. Yeah. And just moving these tumblers around and looking back and oh god that oh god and something clicks. The chest opens. And out of it comes a mass of green gas. I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. I'm glad I get I was gonna say, uh, just bonus, bonus to that. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Blade. Blade Singing. Uh, yeah, plus four. Okay. Woo! So it's plus seven to this roll. Okay. I can math. I can math. I can math. Don't fuck me. 21. 14 plus 7. You make the save. Uh, let me. You still have the suit here. on, right? Oh, oh I, have I have the suit, suit on. on. I don't oh, know if that does I have anything. a hazmat suit. That, okay, that helps with uh, radiation, and it would give, okay. You, okay. Advan uh, give okay. you advantage on the roll, I guess, with uh, uh, poison damage. Do you want me to roll? Does it matter if I roll higher than a 21? No, you succeeded this. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to just speed up things. That, sorry. Thank you. I always forget I have the fucking... You hear tiny squeaks. <laughs> it would have been 21 points of damage, but it is reduced down to 10 of uh, poison damage. God damn, son. Okay. And the chest opens, and in it, you see. Let me look over at my notes here for just a second. Gosh. <laughs> you see a mostly. Um, at this point disintegrated scrolls but there is one intact and uh, three large pouches a cape that is folded up a small stone which looks like to have a gold piece pressed into it and um, a this intricate looking uh, almost like a dynamo. You know what those dynamos look like from uh, Skyrim? <laughs> so, I can find uh, out in less than five yeah. seconds. It, it's like part of one of those it seems to be. And oh, okay. there's oh. intricate carvings in it and it's gold metal and you see flex and rubies inlaid in it. Can... It seems to be a piece of something larger. Oh, one of those things. I use my bonus action to start shoving things. <laughs> yeah, prioritizing. You can. I, I'll let you grab two things. Okay. Okay. So you said there was a scroll, two pouches, three pouches, three pouches, and then the dynamo thing, and a cape. Dynamo thing and a cape. And a cape. Okay, I'm taking the dynamo thing. Fuck, do I take the cape or do I take a goddamn pouch? Or the the little stone with the gold inlay in it. Oh fuck, alright, the stone. Uh yeah, stone with like a gold stone. piece pressed into it. Okay, I'm taking the from for sure taking the dynamo thing. Um Stoner Cape. Stoner Cape. Stoner Cape. Uh, Stoner Cape. Give me a number. Give me a number. 
Stoner, Stoner cape. cape. I'm just gonna roll. If it's uh, if it's 11 or higher, I'm taking the stone. If it's below, I'm taking the cape. I'm taking the cape. All right. Is that the end of your turn? Um. Yes, I'm just gonna add these. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I just have to add these. So it's a, a cape and a dynamo stone. I'll, is that okay to add? Yeah. Cape, okay. Cool. Dynamo stone. The stoner cape. Oh my god. Stoner cape. Gibbs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that the end of Calvio's turn? Yeah, yeah that's it. Sega, you're up. What are you doing? Flint's on deck. Okay. Um. So Sega. Not the apes, but Sega, um, is going to try to cast Frostbite on the, the, the guy, the thing. All right. What is mine? You rolled a hit on Frostbite, right? Uh, I... Yes. Or frostbite's different from Ray Frost. Oh my gosh, my brain. Yeah, it, so this one's the cantrip. Crazy. Yeah, this one's the cantrip. So I, I assume so. All right, the target must make a Constitution saving throw. On a failed save, the target takes one d6 cold damage and a disadvantage on the next weapon attack. Oh, that's it's gonna fail that save. Uh, it's gonna use its one of its legendary resistances oh. to succeed that. Damn it! So well, fuck off. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, it's a cantrip. You got another. No, I know that's okay. Um, it's just one of those for its day. Okay, so it doesn't take like half. Yeah, it doesn't. It just okay. doesn't. It just doesn't take it. Okay. Yeah. Fine, I guess. Okay. Um. Why can't I do Okay, that? and then the apes. I. Uh, no. No. Um. But I will do the apes turn. Alright. Three apes. Um, are they enclosing in? Are they staying where they are? Uh. Yes. Um. So I guess. Oh, I can't move them. The farthest one. They're gonna get as close as they can so that they can. Still hit, kind of encircling, I suppose. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Seems great. Um, right. since you told me to, I already rolled the hits for them. <laughs> Only, okay. well, the three that are left, I got 24, 20, and twenty-one. That's so twenty-four rolls. hits. Right. So then that one is fourteen damage. Oh shit, that's a lot of damage. Well, they get two hits, because they get multi-attack. Yep. Yeah, 14 buttoning. Okay. Is that the end of their turn? Um... Yeah, I guess since they all went to try to hit, they can't do anything else, so... At the end of their turn, um, it's going to take one of its legendary actions to uh, attack the other Jesus one that's Christ. poison. I'm glad it's using all of them. Um, it gets the legendary actions back when it comes its turn again. The legendary resistances oh. are only once per day. Um, oh, good. Well, that's That's good. a 17 to hit. Uh, that hits. Okay. And this is for the one that's, like, next to it? So, yeah, the one that's already been poisoned. Oh, that one. Okay, got you. It's probably going to be gone. Yeah, that's going to be uh, 12 points of bl bludgeoning damage. Yep, it's gone. Okay. okay. All right. This seems like now, it's hard to hit, but it doesn't it is hurt turn. too much. Unless it breathes gas on you, then it hurts a lot. Yeah, the gas kind of hurt. That's fair. What's Flint doing? Uh, I am going to cast Bardic Inspiration on Marsica and, um, 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 what's yeah. the character's name? Zarek here. <laughs> oh, nice. So, um, uh, one Bardic Inspiration on Zarek here. And one on Marsica. Can you do multiple in a turn? 
Uh, they're bonus actions, so I thought I could if I take two, if I take my full action and my bonus action to do that, so I can do two different targets. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll look at that later. <laughs> there it is again. Doesn't say I can't. Um, it just said it says so, as a bonus action. Yeah. So that's if the only you go weirdness. Like, like rules lawyering, if you go rules as written, you have an action, a bonus action, and a movement. You can't substitute something like if you go super rules lawyering, you can't substitute like an action for a bonus action. But I think that's kind of dumb, so it's fine. That's fair. Okay. That is kind of cool. dumb. So I do that for them. Um, Flint's not going to move. He's going to stay right behind Fang, where it's safe. And the apes that I have, the front one that's already injured, I'm going to have go up front and try and make a grapple check, and that's just at strength, right? Uh, yes, yeah, so it would be this one. I forgot to mark that one as injured. Mm-hmm. That would have been the one that was injured because it was bad. Okay, the injured one's going to go up front, and then the one uh, who's fine is going to go behind back, and I already rolled their strength checks. One of them was a 19, the other one was a nat 20, plus three is a 23. All right, so the nat 20 definitely hits. Which uh... That's going to that's gonna be the one that's behind him and the one that's got the most health. He's going to crit. All right, go for it. Roll that damage. It's just a grapple check, isn't it? I'm just oh, grappling him. Grapple I'm... him. Yeah. Oh, so contested then. Sorry, I missed the grapple part. What's the total number with the crit? It's 23. Um, so one at a time. That's going to be a 27 to contest. The Ooh. first one. <sighs> And then the second one to contest, that is going to be a 23. What was? What did you roll? Uh, it was a crit for a 23. Okay, so let's roll again, and, and whoever gets the highest on that. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. 19. I rolled a 19 for the gorilla, plus 3 is a 22. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the gorilla is currently holding on to the the leg of this thing. Cool. <laughs> right, hold it, holding it in place right now, I guess. <laughs> um, all right, is that Objective the end is just of to slow it turn? down. Yes. At the end of hey, the, at the end of your turn, it. it's going to use its last uh, legendary... Uh, action for this round and it's going to uh, what's it going to do uh, it's going to attack the one that's grappled it that's what it's going to do <laughs> can it... yeah. yeah you can attack those that grapple you okay. Okay? Yeah, it doesn't crit fail uh, it... I'll do it with disadvantage. Okay. still is a 17 to hit yarp okay. yarp All right. That is going to be uh, eight points of damage. All right. All right, it is now the Steel Guardian's turn. I'm going to roll the d6 to see if it gets its poison breath back. Nope. <laughs> Thanks for being generous and telling us, at least. <laughs> Recharges on a five to six, and I rolled a four. It does not recharge. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. what's it gonna do then? It's gonna do a triple back flip. It's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Holy shit! Um, it's gonna take its warhammer. So you guys have been seeing it slam with its shield most of the time to try and rush in and hit people. Now it's going to swing with the Warhammer. Uh, first at the one that it is grappling it. No. That is going to be... Um, 
Yeah. A 19 to hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that is going to be uh, 12 points of damage for his first He's attack. He's dead. Oh, it's dead? All right, cool. He's dead. He had 11 HP. Yep. Okay, cool. I can't hear you. That's okay. I wasn't talking. I wasn't talking. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's fair. That's okay. Um, so kill that one. Uh, was that one injured then... at all? Yeah, it was. It hit oh, him before yeah, it was. with the legendary action. Oh, sorry. My bad, sorry. I didn't know you were under my chair. Um, then, now it's going to attack uh, one of the other ones that was injured with its Warhammer. And that is going to be a 10 to hit on that one. Yes. I did nope. not hit any of them. Two, two nope. plus eight. So, uh, that's his turn. He's going to look around, seeing he's being held up by these gorillas. Um, and notice that the chest is open. Oh, shit. So, and not know what has opened it. So, it's going to start moving towards the rest of the group. It will incur three t three attacks of opportunity, so go ahead and roll those. Woo! Oh. Oh. Uh. That's a nat 20 for one of those. Nice. I got a 19 for mine. So that's a 25. <laughs> and with the nat 20. And then a... I have been... 24. And a 24 for the other one. Damn! Uh, <laughs> nice. These are rolling sick rolls hit. tonight. Yeah. Mine hit as well with the 24. There you go. Go ahead and roll damage, guys. Okay. Um, hey, hey. Man, there. these gorillas are... Mm. Killing it. Also nine being killed. Total. Killing it. I hit him for nine. Okay. Oh, you're uh, coming close to the, me. Between the two of mine, it was 12 points of damage. Did you double die? Oh, I didn't double die. No, hold oh, on. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hold on, Paul. Marzica's coming up. 18 points of damage. Because like you got twelve on a crit. Oh, that's 27. sad. <laughs> I forgot to do double die. It's all good. All right, that's his turn. He's moving closer towards the entrance, trying to run to block it off. Oh, no. <laughs> that's Marska, not gonna in. happen. You don't have wall of fire. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Him again. I don't hit the thing! <laughs> Alright. Roll your dice. Okay. Uh, 18? Sorry, 28? <laughs> yeah, 28 does hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I just I was like, I'm gonna just read the number this time. Okay, um... Okay, I'm gonna roll my deep pick. Low rolls. Things up that. Things up that. Uh, God, that was three ones. Jesus. All right. Oh no. Eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, uh, nineteen, plus twenty-four points of piercing damage with that first hit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead Jesus and Christ. roll again. Just to clarify, because I didn't do this last time, but the advantage of the roll only counts for the first attack, right? With my oath yes. bow, or is it both? Okay. I think I think it's the first one. That's what oh. I did last time. I'll have to look. Okay. It, it doesn't. It doesn't specify. Hold on. Let me it... look it up while you roll. Okay. If it doesn't specify, it's both. Oh, okay. So, let me go ahead and try to crit. Yay. Ooh, cool. 25. <laughs> 25 oh, 25. 25. Oh, <laughs> such a bad roll. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's what it is. That was standard, standard mediocre. Mediocre. I mean, it was above a 10. So 25 mediocre. That's no crit. 
Much better. Yeah, it's no crit. That's right. That's right. Well, my dragon dice haven't been doing well, so I'm doing what green is a dice. Crit for you? What like what is the actual number of a crit for you? Thirty. Thirty. Oh, God. <laughs> That's dumb. I have that <laughs> we got equation. Uh, 12, 14, 18, 21, uh, 26 points of piercing damage on that one. There's so much fucking damage. Also, I, I have all spell going. Wham, wham. <laughs> wham, wham. All right, so that one I, I did Thank good, you, good Marsica roll. And I still have the, um... The, the whatever you call it, that's what it gave me. I think this so. thing is really mad at you. <laughs> so, with each of those, you guys watch as Marsika loses two more arrows, getting stuck in various chinks in its armor. You see it kind of X like steam comes out of the various cracks and such in it, and you watch as electricity begins to pour from this thing. Like, it oh, is currently dear. enveloped in an electrical field. Oh, no. Hey, uh, that's bad. enough damage leveling up. <laughs> Phase two. <laughs> Phase two, boss. <laughs> Fuck. Is that the now end it's of angry. turn? Yeah. Somebody cue epic boss music. Oh, um... Fang is... A good boy. Fang is gonna go... He's gonna go here. No, my fucking shield. He's <laughs> no, 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 he's standing here and growling, or... Yeah, he's gonna stand here and growling just so somebody's kind of in the entryway. Um, right. If it gets close enough, he'll bite, but right now we're kind of blocking the area, so... Nice. Is that the end of Fang's turn? That's the end. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. Kick yours up. Uh, Sacred Flame. <laughs> nice. Uh, what's your spell save, DC? 16. It fails. Yes. Uh, okay, not as good as the first one. Seven. Seven points of radiant damage. Nice. Uh, and then we're gonna move the spiritual weapon. Uh, how far can I move this? Right in oh, front yeah, of him yeah. again. Okay. Right here. Sorry, I forgot I had to move it. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking. Why aren't you moving it? <laughs> uh, and then do the thwack. All right, make that thwack roll. All right, thwack roll. <laughs> I was wondering if you could move it one space over. If, if you could. Uh, Does it matter? I think things can occupy the same space as it, right? Yeah, you can You can pass through it if you want to. Okay. Uh, 24. That hits. Yay. How much damage do I do with this again? Uh, okay. 1d8 or 2d8? I don't remember. Uh, 11. Wait, sorry, 8. I'm bad at math. 8. 8 points of bludgeoning. Nice. Force damage? Force damage. Force damage. Alright. Is that the end of your turn, Kakira? Yes. Zarakir. Uh, uh, at the end of your turn, first, before I forget about its legendary actions... It is going to strike. No, you can forget about those. It's fine. <laughs> it's going to strike at Zarakir for its legendary action, and that is going to be a twenty, dirty twenty to hit. Whoa! It hits just okay. barely. That will be eight points of bludgeoning damage, and at the start of your turn, uh, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw as the electricity you're standing right next to it is the electricity you're trying to dodge these bolts of lightning that are kind of shooting off of it uh 
This reminds me of how to train your dragon. <laughs> Fight that is a nat drag. 20 for dexterity. Nice. So you make the save. You're going to take six points of lightning damage. Oof. What are you doing on your turn? I am going to move right there. And okay. I am going to cast Searing Smite. And... Uh, Basically, my weapon t starts glowing with the white hot intensity, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hit him with my mace. Go for it. And then I hit him with a hammer. Hammer. Twenty-three. What was that? It's twenty-three to hit. Twenty-three does hit. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Whack him. That's Whack him good. So it takes uh, 9 bludgeoning damage plus a d6 of flame damage and is now on fire because of uh, Searing Smite. Is your weapon considered, considered magical? magical? Yes. So how much was it total? Uh, in total, it is 12 points of damage, 3 fire damage, and is now on fire. Alright. And I'm going to hit him again with my uh, other attack with my mace. Now we have a flaming electric or electricity shooting robot walking towards us. Twenty-four. It's more and more 24? terrifying. Yeah. That hits. Woo! And then another nine points of damage in total. points of damage. And that is going to be my turn. Pick up the chest and run, Calvio. <laughs> <laughs> There's still so much good loot in there. That chest is way too heavy for one person. Yeah, I'm not picking that shit up. <laughs> so, there are three pouches and a stone. Is this thing currently? Okay, yeah. cool. Sorry. Uh, so, what's left in there? Three, three pouches and the stone and a scroll. Yep, three pouches, stone and scroll. What can I get in with a bonus action? Or what so, can I pull in with a bonus action? Uh, with a bonus action, you would be able to grab either the three bags or uh, like one of the bags and the scroll and stone because they're small items. Wait, can you use an action and a bonus action to grab things? If you use your action and bonus action, I'd allow you to grab everything that's in there and try and stuff it in your bag. And you would still get a movement action, and right? And you still have your movement. Yes, but I can get out this turn if I have an action in my movement. I also like, have Sanctuary. But I can be out of the bubble this turn. But in all the life. things. I can be here. Oh, I have to put... I can be here this turn if I don't use my action. But if I use my action, then I'm gonna be here. It's a gamble. I don't even know how close to hurt this what, thing what is. What would Calvio do? Take all the We're things. Not able to talk to he you. would take everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Um, Calvio is definitely taking the stone. I will say that, so he's definitely taking the stone. Okay. And then you said a you pouch and a scroll. In, in the pouches, some of them are the pouches are a bit open. There's a lot of gems in there. And a lot. He's of, grabbing them. Uh, <laughs> uh, one in particular looks to be fine ground dust of some sort. It's very shiny and glittery. Yeah, okay, I grab just take it all. <laughs> no, I'm, take I'm it all. Action, action, I'm just taking everything. Fine. All right. Fucking fine. <laughs> fine. So I have three pouches, a stone, a stoner cape, a stoner cape. Uh, so three pouches, 
uh, gold inlaid stone and scroll. What's your passive so, perception, by the way? Uh, 16. So you would see, also from this position, as you're like taking things out, something would catch your eye. Below the bubble, a little bit farther down, there seems to be, in the water, a metal helmet that has gems encrusted in it all around it. It's what in the? the boiling water. Anyone have mage hand? Yes. However, uh, comma, how the fuck are we gonna get it? Move, just move it to the edge of the bubble. We can grab it later. <laughs> I used my action already. <laughs> uh, so just so I'm, I'm, I'm got this straight. I have the dynamo stone, a cape, three pouches, some gold inlaid stone, and a scroll. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I had to check things. <laughs> okay. Do I have any kind of idea that we got what we came here for? That piece of like the dynamo thing looks pretty damn suspicious. Okay. Um decisions decisions. Then uh, I'm going to use my movement since the thing is empty. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. My happy ass is right here. Sounds good. Is that the end of your turn? That's the end of my turn. Sega, you're up. Uh, at the end of my turn... Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Nope. Nope. I'm, I'm lied. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Um... Sika's gonna try uh, again to do another another frostbite. Okay. What's the spell save DC? Um, fourteen for Constitution. Yeah, it makes a save. Damn. Fuck off. Ugh. Um. Anything for bonus action or movement? Um, no bonus action yet, but I will kind of move, you know, back here a little bit. I'll back up seeing this thing coming. All, All right. right. Um, uh, at the end of your turn, it is going to uh, take its shield, and instead of just trying to whack with it, it's going to try and ram and push Zarakir away, so I need you... Uh, if it hits, you're going to need to, uh, your plus. Does a 17 hit? Okay. No. no. 17 does not hit. No. No. So you manage, you, you push up against it as it tries to push you, so it doesn't do anything. Go ahead, Sega, with the apes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the last oh, two that are mine that are over here are gonna come up to the back of the the guy um oh, and okay. take swings like right there uh yeah as long as they're still like within reach kind of deal yeah they can still hit him okay um one of them missed because even with the plus five it was a 17 the other one, however, I crit on, so that one gets double nice. damage. <laughs> Booyah! That looks great! You I guys know. are rolling real well for these apes, man. I've been so I did not in the beginning. <laughs> I've been so worried about these apes since I came up with the idea. Like, these apes are going to get creamed immediately, and they are putting in the work, man. Well, yeah, half of them got these creamed These apes are bananas. So that one does 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Nice. Smack that on the floor. Well, Sega yeah, might be normal. missing, but these apes aren't, so. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the end of the apes? Turn? Oh, hold. 
No, hold on. Sorry, I totally did that wrong. That was just... Monkey face. I just, hold on. I didn't actually do the double damage like I thought I did. Because okay. I forget it's two hits, so... Okay, so yeah. whatever I said before, plus so if, another... If, if it's multi-attack, you roll twice to see if they hit with the second attack. You don't hit with both of them. You have to roll two d20s. You have to roll a oh, d20 Oh, I did that? Attack. Okay. I thought I did that earlier. Hold on. Okay, then that second attack doesn't hit. Okay, so that's fine. Everything's fine. Right. Cool. It's the way it was. <laughs> All right, is that the end of their turn? I've been doing this so weird. Okay, yes, that's it. Okay. I fucked up. I've learned. I'll do it better next time. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> hey, it's a learning process. Uh. Um, at the end of those apes' turns, it's going to turn back to turn around and sweep and try and slam the one in that corner with its shield. That's going to be a 21 to hit. For six points of damage. And you said six points? Yes. Okay. That one there. That one there. Okay. Okay, that's this one. Alright. Uh, now, Flint, you're up. I'm going to cast Conjure Animals again and summon another four apes. <laughs> Where are they going? One right here. Another in this square. Uh, one to the left of um, uh, Sega's one. And then the other one right here. Bottom. Not rounded. <laughs> and Somebody then... please clip Aaron saying, are you kidding me? <laughs> Anyone in the Twitch chat, please clip it. <laughs> It's funny because I could also do it again after this. We love you, Aaron. We are proud of that emotion. For my bonus way. action, I'm going to give uh, Zark here my last part of inspiration. All right, Zark here, you got that? Yeah. Got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Five, ten, fifteen. I'm gonna I'm gonna come down here. It's starting to get out of dodge. <laughs> yeah. Um. So the other ape so that is, I did have summoned. It is now summon... the start of those apes' turns. Right. Yep. Yep. I need all of them to make dexterity checks for me. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's the thing that goes back again. Two. To plus two. One of them got a 19, another one got a 17, one of them got a 6, and the other one got a 4. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, the 6 and the 4 are going to take 9 points of damage, and the, uh, the ones that succeeded are going to take um, 9 divided by 2 is 4. So... Those three, those four are yours. Okay, so I'll go ahead and mark which ones succeed and which ones don't. You said two succeeded, two did not. Yes. Doing everything I can to keep his attention facing that side of the room. <laughs> So I alternated it. Bottom one succeeded. Next, or bottom one failed. Next one succeeded. The one next, but you got me, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, now it's their go. Go ahead and roll for grapple their attacks. <laughs> yeah, two are going for grapples. One on each leg. That is a 22 for one. Okay. And uh, 14 for the other. Uh, 16 for the first one. 
Uh, 19 for the second one. Let me look. It's going to uh, use one of its legendary resistances to succeed a on the uh, grapple check that it failed against. Mofo. So, so it is. Right, the other two, resistance. the other two okay. are going for grapples now. <laughs> Go for it. All right, one's a crit fail. Okay. The other one is a twenty, unnatural. All right, it uh, succeeds against that with a 25. Ugh. All right, is that the end of your gorilla's turns? Yes. It is now the Steel Guardian's turn. He's going to see He's if he gets probably, his poison breath back. Probably getting so pissed with these monkeys. <laughs> with another four, it does not get it back. You guys <laughs> notice as... Uh, it's now been standing in this location for uh, a full round and it has not moved uh, so you notice that the ground under it with the membrane is starting to get a little red with the electricity on it oh god so for it's it is time to get the fuck out uh, <laughs> it is going to make a first attack against Zarek here with a uh, 17 to hit. It does not hit. <laughs> hit this thing's intelligence real fast. Yeah, it's going to make another attack on Zarek here. Twenty to hit. It hits with its twenty. Can I use a bonus action right now? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that works. Okay. Uh, that's going to be twelve points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, that's not so bad. Donk. It could totally be a lot worse. <laughs> Take a donkin. Oh, it's rebuke. <laughs> there you yeah. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Make me an intelligence check. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Me? Yep. What the hell is that? Minus a nine. How much, How much is, is it? A nine. Okay. Smart um, man. So it has to make a dexterity save against your hellish rebuke? I don't believe so. I believe it just hits. I think it's a dexterity save. Either way, roll for damage. Yeah, it's a dexterity oh, it's like save. Oh, it's dexterity saving throw. Alright, uh, but takes half damage, so roll that damage. He does not seem very nimble. How much damage you roll? Give me one. Give me one second. And you're casting it at 5th level? Or 3rd uh, level? Damn. 22 points, points of fire damage. Yeah. But then half that, right? No. No. Damn. Dude, he's on the membrane, guys. Oh, no. So, Shane, as he hits you, you notice since the ground under it was already starting to get some damage to it from its envelopment and electricity, oh. you envelop him in flame and you watch as the ground under him <laughs> begins to burst open the membrane is currently beginning to flood with water and he is falling out what time to get doing? the fuck like, out time like, to get like the fuck out through. time to get the fuck run. out run. yeah hey, running hey, run. that's, that's that's the end he's falling through uh, what are you doing for your movement? We're still in initiative. The what? membrane is currently collapsing. I'm glad I backed out. Fuck. <laughs> Flint's the slowest of us, so... Are you running? Can I get on Fang? So... <laughs> uh, 
Oh wait, no, that was the Steel Guardian's turn. With that. Mm-hmm. Marsica, you're up. Okay, how the fuck out? Okay, okay. Use the chin. Grab and the helmet. Steel, Steel Guardian's completely in now. Like he's there's no threat from him anymore. There is no threat. He has currently fallen through the membrane and he's tried to like rip an attack as part of the membrane as he's falling, but he's currently you see as he's getting hotter and hotter in the uh uh, boiling the, water. The boiling in case this matters, Kira's uh, resistant okay. because of the flame potion she hey, she drank. Can't... Wait, can, when did Kira drink that? Uh, the game that I played for you. Can I go? Why? Wait, because Why? we were about to go into a hallway. Don't worry about semantics. You have how much do I lose for going through thing? Five feet? Is that how much I lose for going through thing? It costs an extra five feet to go okay. through thing. What exactly okay. does it do? Does it lower Gosh, the amount of damage I take? I think you it's have resistance damage. to it. Okay. If you have this spot right there. <laughs> that there. This spot here. Okay. Going here. All right, Marsica just fucking runs out. That's one <laughs> set of movement. Are you going to dash to try and get out of yes. get even farther? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I might as well. All right, that t- gives me... Here. Okay. All, right. All right. Is that the end of your turn? That is the end of my turn. Fang, what are you doing? What's Fang doing? Oh, he's also gonna dash. He's gonna run. Yeah, he's gonna do that whole thing. All right. Go ahead and make him run and dash. He, uh... Oh, Kakira doesn't know about the helmet. Just dashing just adds double, right? Double what it does. Double movement? I think I might have done that. That's okay. So, he can... We he can come can back for the helmet. Right? It's okay. Yeah, but how long is this fire potion going to last? We can figure something out. If you really want the helmet, we can come back later and get the All right, uh, I'm done. Anymore. Bang is done. All right, Kakira, you're Kira. Right. Sorry, Kira's on deck. Did all my monkeys fall in? They're about to. What's Kakira doing, Patrick? Get the fuck out. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Don't know what else to do. All right, running back. Are you dashing too? Should I dash? No. It's up to you. I'm just gonna go there. Okay. Uh, are you um, any spells or anything? How hurt does Zarakir look? A little hurt. Uh, well, yeah, I'm at 22 hit points. Oh shit. Uh, uh, 29. 29. Sorry. You, okay. You're, you're kinda hurt. Can I cast healing word? Word. Word. As a third level spell. Bird. On Zarek here. Bird! bird. Healing word? <laughs> holy crap. Bird. Since what? Patrick's a bird. bird. The healing word is bird. bird. The bird is the, the word. The bird is the word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the healing bird. Yes. You can do that if you, I think if you casted it before you moved away. Oh, I, he's still within range. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I got 60 feet. Then yes. All right. Uh, hold on, I gotta go find all my D4s. I need three of them. Bum, bum, all right. Bum. While you're doing that and rolling the health, Zariki, what are you doing? Unless there's anything else Kakira wants to do. Uh, Kakira cannot really do anything else. Okay, Buh. Zarkia, that's what he's up. doing. Buh. Deuces. Wait, can can the tombstone move down and thwack the thing again as it's falling? <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, you could totally have it go into the boiling water and try and thwack it again. Okay, do, I, I'll, I'll roll for that. Yep. That would be it. great. Advantage uh, for coolness. <laughs> Uh, it's only a 14. I tried. Yeah. Even falling down, he raises his shield in defense. Yeah, it hits him, but it just doesn't seem to do any damage. Alright. Uh, okay, so Zarek here gets 
13 points of healing. Woo! Cool. Nice. Alright, is Zarkia running? Yeah, I'm running and using a dash action and moving right there. Alright, sounds moving good. Moving right there. <laughs> uh, Calvio, you're up. What are you doing? Calvio is now here. I used my move and my dash. Okay, sounds good. Are you still invisible? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody <laughs> saw that shit. So, That's uh, I just, uh, we just feel you something. Zarek here, like, help <laughs> something, like, brush past him. Like, <laughs> Flint, Kakira, and Zarek here, like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. And, and you all would have noticed the chest open and the burst of gas coming out. So you know Calvio got into some shit back there. Yeah. For real. So. You just hear, fly, you fools. You <laughs> fools. Siga, you're up. What are you doing? All right. Siga is, out. yeah, also, like, getting the fuck out. Um... You guys can also use an action to uh, dispel your... You can use your action to dash, or you can use an action to dispel your conjured animals if you don't want them to suffer that fate. You can also move oh. the animals on your turn, and they can dash, can't they? That's true. That we yeah. can keep the gorillas. Uh, I like their songs. I don't know. Would they already be in the... In the not thing yet. already? It's, not it yet. It is cur currently flooding, but not yet. Okay. They do um, have a chance. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sika would definitely um, uh, tell them to to run, run, run with them. Run, you fools. Okay. Yeah. If you have them patch it up, will it be gorilla tape? <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> Shane, Shane thanks. I like hate this? it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh God. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, how much movement do the apes have? Uh, they have. Sorry, wrong tab. Probably um, a lot. Fuck. Where the fuck <laughs> is it? Uh, thirty feet. Are they going to dash? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they can. They Just can. make sure they don't block Flint. They can haul it. Yeah, we, we, gotta be, we have to be careful because it's five <clears throat> extra feet to move through people. We still go diagonal for now. Yeah, so just be careful. Yeah. Don't block Flint. Yeah. I'm assuming Flint's going to do like the same thing. Yeah, I don't want the apes to block it. <laughs> yeah, Flint's going to dash up next to Barsica up there. And then move the apes. I like how my tombstone came with them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's what I was laughing about. We'll have them get to about there. Is that accurate? Yeah. Sure. I, it, with cool. dash? Yeah, I mean, they can get farther, but they might start blocking people if they get into this tunnel. About, like, right there. Like, on the edge, like, up next to the tunnel. No, 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 like, no, here, like, you know, if they... The like light part is in. memory. Yeah, like, filed in, <laughs> like a line. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Bring a protective they, they circle would around to get about there. <laughs> okay. I just want to make sure. Tiga wants to make sure everybody's okay. All right. Is that the end of... Uh, we'll just say, Michael, I'm assuming that's what you're going to want your apes to do, too? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, Single now, file. Flint, you're up. All right, Flint going to come down to here with his dash action. And this is the fastest you guys have ever seen Flint move in his life. <laughs> <laughs> All you hear is pots and pans banging as you... Train coming through! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys watch as it gets closer now. The, the membrane is starting to deflate more, and that area uh, where all of those apes were, they would have been swallowed if they did not move. Yay, I'm glad they could come with us for now. 
It is now that big of a circle in the middle. Oh, Ooh. shit. Oh. It's filling in pretty fast. <laughs> I mean, it is water, so... Marsica, you're going. What's What are you doing? <laughs> God. Bye. Bang, we'll just join her up in there. There you go, just make things easy. We're done. Is that with the dash action? Yeah. Okay. Okay. These are the... Down here, just to clarify, those are the doors that, like, sealed, right? Oh, yeah, those could... are the door that sealed. Sorry, I wasn't I wasn't looking. You can get past the first door. Oh, so I can be oh with that. You so can I can be part of here. your movement and everything and Yeah. Okay. okay. And it can does, does the door close automatically or is it the can door, I do I have to hold it open? The door closes behind you as you pass into this room. Ugh. Can I uh, hold it open? Yeah, you can sit there and hold it open if you want, make it easier for whoever whoever wants yeah. to get in there, but just like yeah. an elevator door. Like, yeah, you only have room for like four people. Okay. I just imagine uh, this big stone door like rolling in, touching Marsica, and then rolling back out, and then rolling back in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding it open so that way a few people can also run into here if we need to. Okay. Is that the end of your turn? Yes. Zark, here, you're up. Wait. Did I, I didn't something? go. Oh, sorry, Kakira. Is that as far as you can get? Yeah, and it's action, uh, it's movement, and then use an action to dash, so I still have a bonus action. Yes, you still have a bonus action. Uh... I'll just wait. I am, like, really stressed out for you guys right now. You're really stressed out for us. I'm really stressed yep. out. <laughs> Wait, why are you getting more stressed than when we were fighting it? <laughs> Can... Is it... Okay, never mind. It's not my turn. Just kidding. Uh, was that Sika? Whose turn was that? That was Kakira's. That was just Kakira's. Are you doing anything with your bonus action, Kakira? Open no. the other door. Uh, I can't. Oh, you're not close enough, right? No. We popped the bubble. Right. Mage uh, hand. I'll I'll hold. Mage uh, hand doesn't work like that. I'll hold a healing word. If somebody looks like they're gonna die. Okay. You you will lose the spell slot if you don't uh, use it by the end of your next round. Okay. All right. Is that the end of your turn? Okay. Please. Now it's Zarkir's turn. Sorry. So Zara, can, can, right can, can you make Zara, it to the other door to hold it open? No, that that is as far as I can go. Okay. Okay. Calvio, you're up. Um. Once we go through those doors, we can't come back. No, we have to seal them and not let that water get past. Well, and then once the water is there, we can't get back in. The right. way the doors are constructed. They, it's meant, you guys knew it, know it's meant to hold, like, an onslaught of water. Yeah, I remember that from last time. So when we go through, that's it. This room is yeah, done. It. Yes. So, I guess so. I mean, left behind. Yeah, we're, we're not getting it now. No, no, that shit's staying at the bottom of this fucking thing. Whatever. Yep. But... <laughs> <laughs> What's Calvio doing? I'm thinking. I'm sorry. This this the 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 prospect of the doors closing and opening changes fucking everything. Um, basically, basically, you can use. Um, I, I think I, I have to go check, but it's ten feet of movement to basically get through the door for the effort of passing. So it's effectively difficult. Oh, it's ten feet of movement. Door. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. So can I get to the other door and hold it open? Yes. If I use my action and dash? Yes. Okay, so Calvio 
is holding the door open, the other door open. Okay. Can I be on the other side of the door holding it? So, like, on the other side of Fang? You'd be right there. The safe side of the door. I have plenty of, I have plenty of movement. Yeah, you'd be able to get, you'd be able to get on the other side. Like, right there. Okay. So I'm on the other side of the door and holding it so people can come through. So both doors are open currently. Get the fuck out! There is one more door that isn't shown on this map that's on the other side. I forgot to put that one in, but it shows... Okay, great! Ah! Like, two more spaces. So so on the other side of these two spaces here, there's another door? Like, right here? Yeah, it's on the very bottom. Okay. Um, Sega, you're up. Okay. So here's what sucks. (laughs) I can get to here. This time, that's it. (laughs) Where? I think that's okay. It's right in front of the door. I can't get in the door. We just need to get going. Like, we gotta move. Um, and... Is that with a dash? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Um, and the apes will follow. I don't know if I moved far enough last time, so that might be the problem, but it is what it is now. Hmm. <laughs> These fucking A is just like. <laughs> yeah, I know. Coming in. That would be file. kind of. It would be kind of intimidating to be like running out and there's all this water and you have like. I'm just a clarifying. Apes. We are going before the apes. Oh well, yeah. Sega <laughs> understand. Sega can make them go away if I need to. So. Yep. Go away uh, by you meaning save the gorillas. The no, no, just like gone. I can buy and then snap my fingers uh, and they're okay. Flint, I assume that you're making them move Damn. up also. Yeah. Can I use my bonus action to grab the door from Calvio? That way when it's his turn to come around, he can go grab the next door and I have this one open. Sure. Since I don't have to like open it all up, I can just grab yes. it. Yes. Yes. You can totally do that. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Since it is already open. Um now. Uh, Can... You guys watch as the rest of that large chamber is be has collapsed and deflated in, and the water is starting to rush down the, the tunnel. corridor portion, the tunnel portion. Oh, Marsica, you're up. Okay, I'll get the next part. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'll do. So I'm just gonna, you know, weave my way through here. And can I be just on the other side of that door that we can't see on the map? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Since okay. since those doors are open, it's basically the ten feet is nullified. So you can go back and open that door now. Okay. So I'm basically just on the other side of. I'm um, I'm here, but on the door over here. <laughs> yep. Javier is also still invisible. And I'm yeah. holding it. Up. Still invisible. So you watch uh, the door like. He's <laughs> probably yelling, come on, come on, come on. Come uh, on, come on, come on. Is, is Fang following you, Marsica? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, he'll be okay. just on the other side of the door with me. I'll just, like, put him up to the side. Sounds good. Uh, Kikira, you're up. Can I try to thwack him again? Sure. <laughs> what? Why not, right? Go for it. And with that, oh, you kill it. Oh, 19. With advantage. With advantage. Oh, with advantage? Yeah. All right. I probably still won't get it, but... I'm going to do it across my desk. Watch, 26. 26 hits. What? Yep. <laughs> Black. <laughs> Think, thinking it's sunk to the bottom of this, just uh, all of a sudden gets nailed with the team. 12, 12 <laughs> points of force damage. So since it has been taking some fire damage in the water... You feel almost this connection through your tombstone as it connects with something and this metal just crumples. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Worth it. Patrick steals half the XP from the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Last hit bonus. There you go. Gandalf the Grey right there. <laughs> you need Kakira the White right. now. Kakira, you still have movement. Are you moving? Yeah, I'm gonna get to the 
all the way through. I'm just going to dash okay. through. You can't dash, but... Uh, uh Spirit weapon is your bonus action. Oh, it is. Then, yeah. Yeah. You can. Then you're all the way through. Um, you're to the other side. Cool. Yeah, Aaron. Point right. Yeah, right. Aber. <laughs> so, has anyone run into Calvio since, like, him and I are standing almost side by side in this hallway, but he's invisible? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys are kind of like bumping and elbowing and yelling, get the fuck out of my way! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trying to right suck there. in his gut. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Zark here. What are you doing, man? Are you still holding the door open? Yes. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I can. I mean, yeah, Sega's can. right there. Can't Sega <laughs> hold it as well? Sega's still on the other side. Yeah, oh, okay. I, oh, I'm holding it for Stiga to come through. Okay. Just gonna move myself over there. Calvio, you're up. Are you staying there? Are you moving past? Uh, I have a question. I have an answer. If. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I read. If I read things, I can figure things out myself. Go figure. Cal uh, Calvio's just getting out. Sounds good. All right, Sika, you're up. So, with you these pass doors... can through the whole thing since they're all open now. There's no yeah, bar, just... nothing barring you. Ow. So, no, I was going to say dashing. with the doors, do they need to be, like, locked? Or once we go in and they close, like, it's fine? It seems to be fine once you go in and they close because the way they're set up, the water pressure will hold them closed. Okay. So, it... It won't, like... Because you remember there's water in most of this place. You know yeah. it doesn't stop it for entirely. Yeah, it's not like a seal. It's not like a complete seal, but it'll mm -hmm. hold back all but a trickle. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything that we, like, need to do with the doors. <laughs> we just let them close and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> right. That would um, be unfortunate. Yeah, there. so that then Sega. <laughs> yeah, so then Sega will just keep on keeping on. Nice. Um, so Sega is through. Mm -hmm. And I guess we'll. So I'll move people uh, can... off to the side that are through to the bottom. Okay. Can. Sega tell, like, is there going to be enough room? For all the apes to come through. You don't think Can there's going to be tell? enough time from with how fast the water's coming? The apes are probably going to get caught before okay. there's They can enough. get through two doors. Dismiss them. It, it's okay. So yeah, <laughs> Ziga's just going to... Um, like, very, very briefly, um, he'll kind of pause for a second, look back at them, give them a nod, and then snap and dismiss them so that at least right. his two are gone. So the two in front just disappear. Is that the end of Sika's turn? Uh, yes. It is now Flint's turn. I turn back, look at the apes. I'm just like, thank you, laddies. And I dismiss them. And I run through the door and get out. Are you gonna hold it for Zark here? Or are you gonna let him? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll still hold it for Zark here okay. until he. You first. can, you can hold, you can drop initiative if you want. You can drop your initiative all the way to after Zark here, so that you can take your turn after his. Yeah, that is, that is an option in the game. I'm not no. gonna do that because I'm just. Can you not the hold right a now. movement action? Technically, no. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna just dismiss the apes then and hold the door. Actually, you can hold the dash action, so yeah. You can do Okay, that. I'll hold the Sorry. dash action. Okay, so when Zarek here passes <laughs> by you, you're gonna run back. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know do that or I that. Yeah, I thought about I just now thought about that, I'm sorry. So oh, you dismissed there. your uh, your apes. Yes. Now with that, because we don't need to, uh, oh, 
We don't need to go through the whole thing for the rest of this because you guys got through and uh, it looks like you guys are going to make it as soon as um, Zarakir comes through that third gate. You guys all hear this slam of water in the gate at the other end. Breathing heavily. Flint is breathing safe. very, very, very heavily. <laughs> he's, he's probably sat down and has his back against the wall right now, and he's just completely out of breath. <laughs> That's the furthest he's ever run in this fast of it. Dwarves are natural sprinters! All in short distances! Thank you! Yep. Oh my god, Shane. So, you gathered your quarry in the quiet laboratory. What are you guys doing now? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> well, do we want to look at the loot? Before uh, we leave? We can look at it when we leave. Because we, mean... we know for sure outside the quiet laboratory is very bad. Or, do we want to check and make... I mean, if it was in that room, we're not getting it now. That, that, that We're just fucked. Yeah, but like, what's in the pouches and... I don't fucking know. I took everything and ran, but... Like, I want to know what you got. I regret nothing. Sega, you still have a conjure animal spell you can use, right? I do. So we can get out of here, get on two eagles, and get the heck out of Dodge, man. We could. That is true. I think it would be better for us. So yeah, we can get to the edge out. where we stayed last time, right? Where that cave was that was outside the Deadwood. Because we flew um, that right on the one, edge. One, You're not entirely no. sure how dark it is outside because you guys did take that rest in the middle of the day. Uh, yeah, we have no idea what time it is. <laughs> so, and uh, it, you guys remember it took two of you guys casting, uh, I believe it was two of you casting, um, no, it was only one casting Contra Animals for the Eagles, but I think you had to do it twice because it was... Um, Two jumps, basically. Yeah. Was that is that correct, or am I mis misremembering? I thought we had to take was the it? eagles off the mountain when I almost died, and we took the eagles to the camping spot, and then from the camping spot we took the eagles to the library or yeah. the laboratory. Okay. Yeah. Yes. That one. <clears throat> then, then yes, you can get out of the laboratory and try and take the eagles to the cave that you guys had used before but you're not entirely sure how dark it is outside or what dangers are out there should we take a minute and check and see what we we've gotten maybe we just take a minute to collect ourselves <laughs> and look at the loot it's a good time to look um, at that stoner cape i'm gonna roll a perception check because our... i know coming into this area we uh had that guy that I let us pass through so he's probably somewhere in the area yeah can we just ask him to can we just ask him to watch for us yeah you can go and try and talk to him and see if he'll keep watching keep things away let's you, do that you, you've made acquaintances with him already hey he's he's our bud yeah let's, let's, let's yeah. ask him to I guess keep an eye out for us what if this I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't think we should talk to anything but our, our party right now. Just like, what up, my undead? I, I don't think we should do that. Why not? That's up to you guys, whatever you want to do. I, I, I just don't, don't want to take any more chances. I mean, he let us pass. It's like, hey. Sure. But We're going to chill I mean, for a little bit. You don't <laughs> so know if... People did lead them to Mount Doom, but tried to kill him afterwards. Offer him um, food, then he won't want to kill us anymore. Undead Assuming dead. he does. Let's I... just chill here and check the loot real quick before we do anything else. Oh, okay. Or what? Courtney, what was what your is, idea? What does Courtney I want just, to say? I just don't think that the loot's that important right now. Like, yes, that's kind of the whole point we got here, but I also feel like we need to get the fuck out. <laughs> what are we rolling perceptions for? I want to know what the hell's around out here. 
we just kind of all rushed out of here and are just like breathing very heavily. So there there are so, wandering things that we've encountered before in this. It's true. With um, with just looking around, you don't see any like wandering monsters or anything. It's the hallway that you used to get into this room originally. Um, and what were your perception checks? 19. With a 19, uh, you see that there is a little bit of water, not very much, a small trickle seems to be coming from that door behind you. Very, very small. Okay, and that dude is literally right down this hallway right there. Yeah, he's he was hanging out over there last time you saw him. If you look around, if you're going and looking around the corner, he still seems to be peering through that little hole, and he's got like an arrow ready. Mm. Why does he have an arrow ready? That was his duty. That's he was his told job. To stand guard. Oh, I guess that's fair. So can I get a? Uh... Can I trade spots with Fang so I can, like, yell around the corner without walking in front of this person and having him potentially shoot me? <laughs> yeah. Is that okay with Marsica? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm a yell down the hallway, hail friend, and I stick out, uh, like, a mutton leg that I had, my last one. Let's kind of wave it. Like... <laughs> He, you can almost hear the smirk in his voice when he says oh so you did survive I kind of stick my head out from around the corner and look at him at first I'm like just kind of not really have any emotion and then I just give him like this big grin through my beard that he can see <laughs> I just, yeah we survived <laughs> Fascinating. You're the first. And probably the um, only. I'm not sure how long these doors are gonna hold. I'm not sure if you're allowed to leave this place or not. But I don't recommend staying here for too long. They will hold. Um. My mistress has ways of remedying the situation. Very well. Uh, here, do we hear this? Yeah, you guys would hear bits and scraps of it. Calvio would kind of speak around the corner kind of and be like, the, like how, right how would she remedy this situation? I kind of do that. I don't know. I'm not very versed in magic or however she made that contraption. So there's not a way that you know of to drain the water in that room? No. Or to that, reset that, the room? That water was there before this place was built. So how did she make the membrane without having water come through? I was hired after the fact. Huh. Uh, inconvenient. That's a shame. Maybe we'll see her on the way out. We can ask her then. Tell me, friend. Um, I don't know if you guys are still thinking about resting here or going out of here, but now is the time to ask this guy. I suppose you can ask him. I mean, you're the one doing it. What is what does Sega think? Um, Sega thinks. Sika's unsure about resting here. He'll do it if the rest of the group decides to do it, but he kind of thinks that we should just keep moving and get back. Can I take out the dynamo thing possible. and give it a brief look over and see if I think this is what we came for? Sure. Does Kakira see very him invisible. pull it out? I'm very invisible. But is the item he's holding invisible? While uh, David's looking at... Anything uh, the target is wearing or carrying is invisible as long as it's on the target's person. Um, looking Mark. through it, go ahead and make me an Arcana check. While you're doing that, Marsika, Zarakir, and Kakira, do you guys have any 
opinions one way or the other where you go. Uh, can can, can, can Kakira just kind of like wave her hand behind her and see if she can feel anything? I'm I'm trying to move out of the I'm trying to keep him her her from so I'm like if she heard his voice behind her, she's gonna be like <laughs> You'd probably brush like scraps, but you could feel getting out of the way and it's incredibly infuriating. <laughs> uh, I know you're there. Zarek here, what were you gonna say? I'm fine with either or. We're gonna rest here or go on. Okay, and Marsica? I hesitate to rest, but... I mean, if we trust this guy to watch over us... What was... I got a 19, what... Because that might change our minds. Um... So with a 19, you can see, you have no idea what the runes or anything in it are, but it does seem to be, have some sort of latent power in it. You can almost feel it buzzing in your hand. Oh, this is stupid. Can I just cast Detect Magic as a spell slot and be done with this? <laughs> I'm casting Detect Magic as a spell slot. I can see him now. Yes, it, magically Calvia goes, and he's just there. I just so want to like with this magic. weird thing in his hand. Um. So you see a bunch of different things with all of the stuff that you picked up. Okay. Uh, from the cloak, uh, I believe it is transmutation magic. The okay. uh, the stone is divination magic, and um, the the piece of like dynamo that you're holding is an incredibly powerful piece of evocation magic. So the dynamo is evocation. The stone is divination. The cape was what? Transmutation. What about the scroll? Uh... Or does it even have... I mean, I assume it has magic. Evocation. Evocation. Oh, I should have done identify. I'm stupid. <laughs> you can use the spell slot and cast identify if you want. I know. Is there anything from the pouches? Nothing emits from the pouches. No, I can, actually I can't. I have to use it as a ritual. Okay. I cannot cast identify as a spell slot. I guess um, we can kill. So Calvio would say that he's. Uh, I'm fairly certain that the this the dynamo that he's holding is. We're just going to call it a dynamo. I don't even know if that's what it's called, but we're going to call it that because that's what you said. Um, is what we came here looking for, but. I would need more time to find out for sure. Kakira. As soon as Calvio holds Ten minutes to this... be exact. Okay. As soon as Calvio We have no holds... idea what you're saying, Aaron. He's just being <laughs> yeah. ever so I always forget about push the talk, god damn it. Um so Kakira. Yes. As soon as Calvio holds up this dynamo saying he thinks this is what you're looking for you see a flash of something in your mind of this thing whole floating in a sort of ether and the center of it spinning and the other side outside spinning the other direction uh, you would see Kakira just like get really wide eyed. Even when through the goggles. At the, when when you appear out of nowhere. <laughs> she just sees that in your hand and like That's it. Well I'm glad we got it. Uh shall we leave? Peace. I think I will very quickly agree. Yes. If if we do get the chance of talking to talking to Rabdacast on the way out, I, I really wouldn't mind that, though. Yeah. Was, 
Is there something else in there? Uh, I caught a glimpse of something in the water that looked like a helmet. But I, I, and then I'll point, like, look and back at the doors and be like, I don't think we're getting it now. Calvio the Great left something behind. Interesting. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? It was boiling water, and it was in the water. I figured you'd think of something. I mean... So you guys gonna be like, okay, it's time to go, kids. <laughs> 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 Alright. Hope is not lost yet. Enjoying a moment of breathing. Easily. So are you guys making your way out? Are you making your way out? Yes. Yes. I said goodbye to the friend that we made. He gives you a small salute as you all are leaving and a head nod. If he's going to give me a salute, I'm going to run and give him my last turkey leg. <laughs> <laughs> but he's sprint. It's, like, it's my last one with like a, somewhat of a tear going down. So help me <laughs> if you get us in combat from this. You hand him the turkey leg? Yep. He takes it, holds it in his hand for a second, and you get a closer look at him where you see that his skin seems to be rotting. Ah. And he says, he says, I appreciate the gesture, but I cannot. And he hands it back to you. It's like, ah! Oh. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I tried. Let's go. So, you all make your way out. Of... <laughs> yep, there he goes. Um, you, you guys make your way out of the quiet laboratory. Through... Wait, do we see Rabdicast? You do not see Rabdicast on the way. Bitch! Thank God. Uh, make me a religion check, Calvio. Where do my dice go? I want the good May one. May you roll better than I would. What is my religion? <laughs> Shit, it's plus four. Okay. Fifteen. You get the impression. So you know with ghosts, sometimes they need certain things for their spirits to find rest. Perhaps since someone finally completed her challenge, mm. she's been able to find peace. But then, who's going to fix the water situation? What's going to happen to the buddy? Huh, so I guess... So, would Calvio know if magic cast by magic users goes away after their death? Or if there's Not some magic that does or doesn't? There's, there's quite a few magic that doesn't. Think okay. of magical items, for example. Right. Interesting. There Did I get do. anything, any kind of magic from our friend when I walked past him? Which friend? He did detect magic right there in front our of us. Our guy over here. Zombie friend. Oh, zombie dude. Uh, no. Am I not close enough? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have been close enough. That's 70 feet, and it's yeah, only 30 that's, feet. Okay. Uh, either way, no. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Hear me out. All right. Don't know how much longer that guy has. And he's good at guarding tunnels. We just so happen to have a tunnel that needs to be guarded. <laughs> you know? That, that would make it incredibly difficult to use the country animals to leave. But yeah. I would say, no. just gonna leave if him you guys want to dip out, then would it? it makes it harder. We're going to leave. I don't think he would come with us. He's we're, been assigned a role. Yeah, and yeah, that is true. We're going to leave. It would be like an I appreciate it, but I'm going to stay here. That's my assumption. All Just right. an idea. Sounds like a go down with the ship kind of guy. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to do here before you make your way completely out? No. By any chance, have uh, any of you guys seen or found what I was looking for? Don't you did he tell us shoes? exactly what he was looking for? I did. Zark here does not have shoes right now. That's right, because his shoes were eaten by green slime in one of the tunnels. That's right. That's freaking great. 
Wherever you have to be like. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh. You oh, technically no. have the. I'm, this is David talking, not Calvio. Uh, Siga technically has this correct. The notes that he's looking for. You handed the notes to Siga, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Siga has Reptacast notes. Um. What can you remind me? Because David's dumb. What is it exactly you were looking for? I know um, it's a note, but like, what was the my detail character? With it? Uh, why my character came here in the first place was to find uh, a type of magic or research that was involved with creating more of my uh, basically weapons that are soul bound and such like that. Like they're souls that bound themselves into weapons. Right, like the staff. That... I like the staff that I have, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah. I'm, I'm supposed to destroy that. Would... I'm supposed to destroy that. Siga... The notes. The notes. Would Siga know this? Did we even read the notes? Calvio read the notes, and he got oh, some I did of read that. So you, they were given to Calvio, and Calvio figured it out, and then you handed the notes back to Siga. So Calvio has the information. Sega has the notes. God damn it. Um. I mean, what would Calvio do? Would Calvio tell him? Or I have would no Cal idea what you're saying. Say that again. Would Calvio tell him? Or would Calvio, with <laughs> knowing that he has a staff that has spoken to him hold on to that information until we were not in this place anymore. Calvio would say I think it's best to wait until we leave to discuss all the things we found. But I need to find this. That is my reason for being here. If you don't have the information, my character is going to stay here and try to find it. That's a good point. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, and he's told us that his intent is to destroy these notes, correct? Yes. What, why are you so apt to destroy these notes? Have we found out why? Because and... it, it was my patron that uh, is doesn't want more beings like him and to suffer the way he was. In All this... Shane has told us in game, though, is that he needs to destroy them because it is his purpose. You can, you can say more right now. Thank so... You. Calvio is going to ask Siga for the notes to read over them again. Okay. Um, can I start somewhere further in and read than what I read before and see what I get? Um, it's all these notes that you have are all generally about like binding souls and weapons and things like that that's what these specific things were and this is written in old tongue correct yes oh so you guys should be able to read that um, uh, it was in a cipher sorry that one was oh that's right oh, i forgot yeah that's right oh okay that's why Calvio um, figured out the cipher, which was how he was able to. Right. Got it. That's right. All right, can I have the wizard, the spell book? Yeah. Fuck, I forgot. Thank you, David, for writing notes that are good. Um. This isn't the spell book, though, right? These are a separate set of notes. Hold on, my cat is climbing on things that he shouldn't be. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a bow! Get off my saxophone! <laughs> M-O-T-Q-R-S Get down, get down. 
Oh, he was on the saxophone. Yeah, he was. He was on the case. <gasps> Bo on the case. He was case. standing on my saxophone trying to find a bug. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the spell book, right? These are a separate set of notes. Separate set of notes, uh, same cipher. Is there anything I get in that that could possibly help with situations like I was in, but not be used to bind souls to weapons? Theoretically, since you've had some experience as a wizard now, having taken some levels in it, you, if you find the right person, they might be able to, like, reverse engineer it. So it it it, it possible, you think, but you're not sure. You don't know for certain, but it could be possible. <sighs> I'm gonna in my head talk to Loren and see if if he thinks it it would be reasonable to try and do that, or if we should just live with the situation we're in. Luran would probably say something along the lines of I'm of the mind that Luran is like kind of likes the situation he's in because he's been asleep for a few hundred years. Forever and so he's so awake. He's now he's awake and he's experiencing the world again through through your eyes. And so I would think he's of the mind of wanting to keep that as long as he can. Sure. Okay, uh, Calvio would hand him the, the notes and explain the cipher so he can read it himself and make sure that this is what he's looking for. But would also explain that it's possible to reverse engineer this so that anyone else who would have been in a situation like Calvio was could potentially be saved like Calvio was. But ultimately, it's I suppose it's his decision. Shane, roll me a d100. Wow. All Solid right. middle roll. The decision is yours. Can I call on my otherworldly patron on this? That's what the role was for. Ah! <laughs> womp womp. <clears throat> oh, the it's heartbeat in this music right now is pretty appropriate. <laughs> I mean, I my character would destroy it. I, my character would. I, I personally want it because you make good points. My character's stupid and he follows his order. Do what you do. My character's gonna destroy it. I'm sorry. Oh, you have to apologize to me. Apologize to Calvio. <laughs> Calvio would look a bit disappointed. I'm sorry, Calvio. The knowledge is lost. This cannot but, be in uh, mortals' hands anymore. That's fair. All right. Oh, who's ready so, for lunch? We don't even know if it's lunchtime. It's always lunchtime, Calvio. What about second lunch? <laughs> Secondsies? <laughs> so are we are we at least going to see the like what's outside and what time of day it is? Yeah. All right. So you guys, one by one, go up the rickety, uh, or the, the creaking metal staircase that goes up. And as you exit outside of the quiet laboratory... Roll initiative. <laughs> no, Sorry. I'm going to do that to you. <laughs> um, you hear behind you um, a loud <laughs> sound 
as a little bit off in the distance on the top of the hill, you see a large geyser just shoot out. Oh, I forgot about the fucking water. geysers. <laughs> it is incredibly dark outside. I need everybody except for Calvio to make me a constitution saving throw. Can I not cast a spell or anything? What are you trying to cast? Light. Oh, you can cast light. Okay. I want to cast light. Okay. <laughs> so with what are you advantage, light right? Uh. I'm not really What's holding advantage? anything. You can cast it on your your base or something. Yeah. yeah why Why is uh, Constitution saving throw at advantage? Sure, we'll do oh, that. No. Cast it on my mace. It's a 19. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you're just being silly. Okay, I got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, so, you're taking it so serious for a second. Who all... Um, uh, everybody who didn't roll Constitution saving throws, besides Calvio, roll Constitution saving throw. Uh, who rolled below... A uh, fourteen. Flint. What? Patrick. There it is. Nice. Dope. That's a bomb bolt fish. Kakira's coming back with the save. What's the only save. one who missed it? <laughs> oh, I need to roll Flint. it for um thing. Oh yep, Flint, you are not feeling well. And I need you to go ahead and take a point of exhaustion right now. Uh -oh. Your stomach is beginning to churn on itself. And you feel warm. Go and take a point of exhaustion. Uh-oh. Yep. Fang begins to feel the same way. Fang also... Uh, you see, he kind of, like, as he comes out, he's, like, scratching at his ears... And as you go to pet him, he's warm to the touch, and he takes a point of exhaustion. What does that mean for me? Um, uh, can Kakira see the people who look not so great? Yeah. Like, how obvious is it? And, with your skill in medicine, something is obviously not right with Felinda. Yeah, you would also know that this area makes people feel weird. I so. did say that earlier. Um... You, you look at Flint, like, take out some of his mashed potatoes, and he just makes a weird face at it and puts it back in his pocket. <laughs> something's clearly not right. <laughs> yeah, something's wrong here. Um, we should leave as quickly as we can uh, before Flint and Fang get worse. I okay. don't currently have anything to help them. So should we aim for that cave we were in? suppose so yeah if we can um, i can seek it out like i can i can fly ahead with my light and go find it i, I just, forgot you had a or light. find something i just don't want you to get chomped on by something else flying around because it's dark and there's a light well it's probably asleep it did it, it did come after me during the day the first time well, well i guess we'll fight, figure it out I guess so. How how is how is everybody with health? PS, I'm at forty two. Uh, out of fifty five. Okay, okay, so and you were the only one that really took damage, right? I think so. And then I healed him okay. a lot. Great Yay, monkeys. Okay, so yeah, we're good. All right, let's let's do it then. <laughs> Eagles. Yeah. So then. Siga would uh, use his last spell slot and conjure the two two big eagles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, conjuring two e eagles kind of like jump from mid air with mist, or however Siga summons uh, his animals, um, and you guys all. The eagles pick up those that need to be picked up, and you guys begin to fly, jumping up into the sky above the deadwood. You see 
it's almost beautiful as you're flying over this dead forest as you can see just glowing blue dots on the forest floor as geysers begin to shoot up as you pass is uh, anybody keeping watch? I would say probably Kakira is the best one to keep watch since I, I cannot flying. Yes, it would be terrible yeah. for me to keep watch. Does anyone else have dark vision? I do. Uh, so you I can do. do. Yeah. Every, everybody okay. else is kind of being held, though. I'll allow one other person to uh, make a roll for perception. Do it. Flint's not feeling good, so someone else go for I it. I think Siga has the best perception. I don't know. I don't. I can't speak for Marsica. Uh, I've got a plus seven for perception. That's so, definitely better than me. All right, so we're gonna let Marska do that. <laughs> I got an eighteen. I don't know how you guys have some of these rolls. The highest thing. Well, I, I have a plus five, but I also get advantage on perception rolls. I, just I have, have a seven. I got a seven. Sorry. With an eighteen, your journey about forty-five minutes in. Uh. Kakira, about 45 minutes in, you see off towards the north, way, way off in the distance, it seems to be another shadow of sorts, blotting out stars, it seems to be flying across. God damn. Okay. The distance that um, it is, um, heaven would see it, but with you rolling slightly better, uh, at the distance that you perceive that it is, it's about the same size, if not larger, than the other flying shape that you saw coming through previously. Oh. Um. Can Kakira f just kind of bank and fly in a direction sort of away from where that is? Yes. Uh, did you have the light cantrip on? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but yes, you can. You can fly in bank. Um, eventually, gotcha. you guys go and make it to the cave in which you previously camped out. Um, you set out your watches through the night, those that keep watch see those same strange humanoid creatures coming just up to the edge of the forest, wailing and going back in. But morning does come, and you all reach level 7. Yay! Yeah. Um, Alright! When Calvio got there, would he have had time to cast Identify? Oh, yeah, sure. We can go ahead and do that real quick. Okay. Um, casting on Identify. I don't believe. All that. So, um, the stone. <laughs> Finally, some culinary stuff. Ah. I'm looking this up real fast, sorry. Yeah, no, it's all good. The stone. It, was there anything else that anyone else got that we didn't have time to put, cast identify on that they need to cast, have it cast on? I, I took a pillow from the Oni. <laughs> it's a cursed pillow. It's a really nice good. pillow. You sit right, on can it. I, can I even sudden, use it on more it than what I've got? Because we've got the scroll, the stone the cape, and the dynamo. Is there... How many more things can I have in this circle? I mean, you could have some time over 20 or 30 minutes. You can oh, okay. identify Do all it a couple of times. Is, yeah. Yeah. Because so. we, 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 anyway. so we had the, the stave that I already identified. Uh, Courtney's uh, chest piece. Um, I think we identified that. I'm pretty sure we did. Did anyone else get anything? Nope. Okay. Fancy pillow. Fancy pillow. You can put the pillow in there. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> if, you want, if you want Calvio to identify a pillow. I do. Oh my so that, god. 
That pillow was cursed by the Oni. You sit down on it. You can't get up. <laughs> Could you <hear laughs> building a nest? I just um, figured it out. Would, would identify work on the spell book by any chance? No. Damn. Okay. So you're identifying all the items? Yes. The stone yes. with the gold piece pressed into it is a stone of good luck. Hey, I know what that does. Right. You gain a plus one bonus to ability checks and saving throws while you're attuned to this stone and have it on your person. Oh, that's cool. The, uh, hold on, give me the list again. Uh, the cape. We'll just go in order that they're in my list. Cape, scroll. Uh, the dynamo, the cape, the scroll, and the gold inlaid stone. Stone. Okay, so the scroll is a, a scroll of Wall of Force. Oh, the uh, oh the cape is oh my gosh, horse push. The, the cape is a cape of billowing, basically. Whoever is where has this cape on their person and is wearing it, okay, Mike. Um, <laughs> who has the cape on their person? They strike a heroic pose, and the cape billows behind them as if there is wind. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> That's all it does. <laughs> That's hilarious. And I know who I'm giving this to. Cape I love it. Does, does it have to be attuned? No, it does not. Flint wants it. <laughs> Flint wants it. Okay. <laughs> what a, and the, uh, the dynamo stone? The dynamo is... You gain... Uh, it is a piece of the Guardian Spark. Okay. What It requires attunement. And in its current state, you may throw the spark to a location... And it acts as a storm sphere for one minute. This property has six charges and regain one d4 charges at dawn. If the last charge is expended, roll a d20. On a one, it lies dormant for a week. Oh, okay. You said throw the sphere in a storm what? A storm it acts sphere. As a storm sphere. What is a storm sphere? Uh, I can the look at it in the chat. Damn it. <laughs> Good day. Oh, it cycles between your bed. Okay. Okay. So, after this is done during the night, before everyone goes to sleep, because I'm sure everyone's going to check this out. Um, what about the pillow? Gonna, so it doesn't fuck up my camera. It's a pillow. Um, Calvio is going to get up and say, Hey guys, check this out. And he's going to put the cape on and um, just go like, and you guys will see the cape like, whoosh, 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 around behind him. How are you doing that? There is no wind. It's magic. And then I'll take it off and give it to Flint. Flint has stepped away, but he will graciously take it. What okay. is it? The cape of billowing. Is it really the cape of billowing? Yeah, is is that really what it does? Is it just it, billows in the wind with a heroic pose? Yes. Yes, that's all it does. <laughs> Hell yeah, Flint will take that. <laughs> um, Behold, my garnish. Okay, so... <laughs> David thinks that Kakira should have the stone of good luck because she can't roll for shit. No, no, no my ability comment. checks are usually all right. It's the it's the attack rolls that are bad. Correct. But um, I would accept it. Uh, but Calvio probably thinks that we should give it to Sega. Well, Sega also just got um, the chest plate, right? Yeah, but these are ability. It's uh, it's ability checks and saving throws, and 
Yeah, well, it should probably either be Sega or Flint, to be honest. I don't know enough about Zarek here, but I suppose there's a good good reason for Zarek here. This is kind of meta right now, but this that's where we're at. And the reason I say that is just because um, I know Sega's a bit like her skill mods aren't as high as some of ours, and this could help. I'm, I mean, it's a democracy. We can we can vote on this. I'm not I'm not the deciding factor. Akira doesn't really care. Yeah, that's I don't not really the item either. she's interested in. Okay, uh, then Calvio is gonna walk over to Asiga with the stone and hand it to Asiga and say, "Uh, we have to tune to this one, right? Yeah, yeah," and say. Uh, you have to tune to this, so I don't know if that would mess up anything you already have, but this makes you a little bit better. Uh, it's, it's lucky. You Not would... that you're poor at what you do, but it helps. <laughs> Sega would chuckle hearing you, like, try to fix your words. Um, and then he would, uh, bow deeply and say, thank you, friend. I will hold it close. <laughs> um, what are in the three pouches, by the way? Ha ha. So the three pouches, let me pull up my notes here. Very intimidating music to find out what's in Oh, yeah, all those <laughs> music here. So. There's also thunder in the background out here in Kansas City. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, oh, God. You guys are kind of in a super ominous place, though, so it kind of makes sense. That's okay, fair. Okay, fair, yeah. The stone of good luck. <laughs> <laughs> is the thunder going through the? Is the mic picking that up at all? By the way, because I can mute myself if it's. No, oh, no I, I don't can't hear, it, hear it, it. Yeah, I don't okay. hear that either. I can make it so you hear it. Oh. That's okay, Patrick. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just gotta turn up the volume knob. What a brat. So, one pouch contains. A hundred gold pieces, or a uh, thousand gold pieces. Sorry. Oh. Um, wow. One pouch contains uh, a set of uh, assorted gems and uh, with rubies, emeralds, etc. Diamonds. Uh, up, uh, up to fifteen hundred gold pieces. A bunch of different gems in them, and then the third sack has diamond dust in it worth 800 gold pieces diamond dust I, can i do anything could we have coded that on our our swords and cut through the uh stone giant the steel, steel giant. guardian no but it's diamond <laughs> edged you have to like specially smith that I'm trying to make a minecraft joke no, I'm making an actual reference where they have to use diamond dusted things to cut through hard materials. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure you have to smith that. I did crunch um... his helmet in, I think. <laughs> Would I have any time to copy any of these spells into my spellbook? Uh, for the spell scrolls, you would need the the money and the the papers and everything. If you have that okay. stuff, then you have it. it I don't think I, I, I actually no. We have nice paper. We found nice yeah. paper in the thing. Yeah, it's, and ink. We found both of those things. Yeah. Um, it would take you. Um, I, I think it's an hour per level of the spell to oh, copy shit. things down. What level uh, is spell, a scroll of Wall of Force? Wall of Force is 5th level, I think. Shit. And then, uh, what level is scroll of fear? Fear, I think, is 1st level, but uh, let me check. Fear is third level. Okay, so I can't use any of these. Good. 
And would I have time to look through the spell book and see what was in the spell book I have currently? Like the, the old one that I found. Yeah, so basically since I figured what out the you cipher. can do, since you have the spell book on you and you know the cipher, um, you can now prepare spells out of that spell book. Like you don't have to copy them from your from that spell book into yours sure. unless you want to, to provide sure. like a backup. Um, or use your spells and copy it into this one to prep, have it as a backup, like leave it at the fort just in case you lose your spell book. Right. Um, but you can prepare what? spells out of both. What do I get? Uh, let me look and see if I can find my notes. Sorry, guys, I'm taking a whole bunch of time. My bad. <laughs> we found lots of stuff and things. Did you find it in the study with all the urns, or did you, did you, did you find it in her room? I thought we found it in her room, but I could be wrong. Maybe it was in the study with all the urns. I don't remember. It was I thought in the it was study. the one in the room. Okay. So I'll I'll send you a list of the knife. all the spells that with are in the knife. Yeah. Oh, that means there was one in her room that we missed. Fuck. No, I, I was just not sure. I couldn't remember. Okay. <laughs> He's lying. I have old spell book written in my inventory. That's all I know. Uh, did you identify that ring that you guys found in Raptacasta's study? I thought we did. I thought we did, but I don't remember what it was. It looks... It had the look of, like, seaweed and stuff wrapped in it. Oh, yeah, I have that one. Um... I don't know if we identified that, though. Fuck. But we can say that we did you if can, you, you want to. You can say that you did with all of this. It's a it's a ring of water breathing. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was. Ooh, that would have been helpful. I remember that now. Like, give it to, like, e either uh, Patrick or I, who had resistance to fire, and just dive into the water and pick up the helmet. Yeah, that would have been... Yep. That would have been interesting. Just sent you a Facebook written, message with it. My Thanks. Scattered and I can add these to my spell book, like in D&D. Now. Once you have the time, you can add them to your own spell book. Make sure you keep track of which spell is in which spell book, because it may become important later, like if you lose oh, one shit. of the spells. Okay. Spell books. Wow. Oh, okay. Is excited. So, we'll go ahead and end the session there with you guys camping. Uh, for and we'll end the stream there. No, you're all good. Uh, we can still hang out and chat and have you guys roll um, HP and all that stuff and do the leveling up before Yay. we finally call it. But for those that watched, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.